What's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be talking about async validators this is one of the most requested topics ever in this channel and so I decided to do this is basically a pretty much simple trick that you can use in your uh, form validation guys so what's async validation basically async validation to put it in a better terms I would I'll give an example sometimes when you sign up for a web application uh, it will have an email and few other fields right so you will enter the email and then when you move on to the next field it will automatically check if the email is already registered with the system if it's registered it's it will automatically say email already present in the system please log in right so this that is called aging validation you didn't do anything once the field lost focus it automatically checked in the system and uh, saw if that email was already present right and another example would be like if when you enter a chat room it will ask you to select a display name and uh, when you type a name it will automatically check if another user with the same name is already present in the chat room if if he or she is already present then it will say name already taken pick another name right that's aging validation so how are we going to uh, design such a system in our uh, angular 5 applications this is pretty much simple if you are using a real time database like firebase uh, or Firestore in this case, that's what we are going to use. Let's jump in and see how to do this. So in order to make this video as short as possible, I've already installed uh, Angular Fire. I already scaffolded out an Angular application using Angular Cli and then installed Angular Fire module and all those, on the, all those modules. So let's just jump in right into the code. First, I'll remove all this and then make a simple, uh, you know, Okay, I have two text fields very simple right and then I'll get into app.component.ts add imports here as well I think I don't need Anglofire auth for this particular demonstrate demo, but uh, anyway, we'll write the actual function. This will be email check. Okay, it'll take event. And when will this get triggered? When the field loses focus, right? In order for us to determine that there is an attribute called, which we can make use of called uh, focus, sorry, focus out. Okay. And uh, for on focus out, I'll simply do uh, email check and then pass in the event here I'll go ahead and create the object user data equals uh, email it will have two fields right email and display display name okay now inside this what we'll do is first of all let's get that what uh, get what was typed in the form field okay the q is equals event dot target dot value and then if q uh, dot trim equals blank then we'll simply tie a show a message so we need to show a message again right so we'll have a status for that first it will be blank and then uh, if q this dot status equals uh, email is required required okay else this is where we write the actual firestore query so there are two ways to do this guys basically what you can do is uh, simply do this dot afs dot collection and then what i am going to do here is 
users collection is there right i'm going to check uh, the email against this collection and we'll check this email 12 user at test.com right we'll check that so what i can do is users and then get a reference for that make use of that reference run a var query on that reference directly here this is the method that i already shown in my previous videos right i'll show another method where you can build it up as a query and then execute that query to get the query snapshot so what I'll do is let collection reference equals uh, this dot afs dot dot collection users dot ref okay and then uh, let query reference query reference equals this dot not this dot collection reference dot where uh, email writing where clauses where conditions with angular fire store has made our life much 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 easier right here i'll give you okay now we can simply execute that query query ref dot get get dot then this will have a snapshot this snapshot will contain our actual data so first i'll check whether this snapshot is empty there is a function called empty i guess yeah empty uh, so sorry empty if it's empty then the email is valid right so this dot status equals valid uh, else this dot status equals email already registered in the system please log in okay so wh what i've done here is very simple guys oh for, uh, first i'll display the query here as well why is this showing oh i didn't close this uh, okay what i have done here is i have simply uh, written two fields and then in one field i am binding this focus out attribute to a email check function and in that function i am simply checking if the email is already present in firestore uh, in the users collection if it's already there i am simply saying email already registered in the system please log. we'll also while it's checking we can just display this dot status equals checking okay let's run this and see what happens so that you'll get a better understanding okay we have the two fields first let's type an email that's already present in the system 12 user at test.com right so 12 user at test.com email already registered in the system please log in okay you get my point right it was it checked for the email and then if it since it was already present in the system it's showing email already registered in the system please log in so let's just type an email that's not registered in the system it's showing it as valid right so now we have if we just give a blank it's showing it as email record now we have a simple yet highly useful uh, async validator for this particular field right in our form so this when combined with beautiful alert messages or uh, toast pop-ups then this could be uh, you know uh, made in such a way that the form looks really good guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today it's a simple technique but highly useful in your angular 5 applications especially used in conjunction with firestore or firebase so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today hope this video was helpful to you if you found this video helpful kindly hit the like button if you really like this video subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this also share this with someone so that it might help them to tweet about it or something i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye